Oh my. Welcome back to Holt Growers. I'm your host, Timothy Holt, and this is inside my greenhouse. Today, I'm going to be putting in guidelines for tomato supports, uh, which are these right here. As you can see, if you look down here, I've got a row of tomatoes here. They're gonna need these supports, and um, I know several people use cages. Um, last year, year before, I came across this idea of using baling twine. I attached the top to these supports here, which is PEX pipe, and the bottom to the soaker hose, which stays in all season. So uh, that gives them a lot of support. Uh, you might not be able to see it very well right here because of this broccoli that's here. Um, but as soon as this broccoli is ready to harvest, it's going to come out and it will just be tomatoes in here. So on this side of the greenhouse, we have um, the Little Marvel Sweet Pea, which also uses these guidelines a little differently, but still uses the guidelines. And then the rest of this is going to be all tomatoes, um, assorted tomatoes. I have some slicing tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. I think there's some Roma tomatoes in here. Most of these plants actually grew on their own from seeds and uh, fruit that fell off the vine and I didn't get harvested right away last year. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what tomatoes are growing and which ones aren't. But that's kind of the excitement. I'm looking forward to it. So, but as soon as these broccoli are ready to harvest, they're getting close, they're green. I don't know how well you can see it in the video there, but right there's a broccoli bulb and it's it's getting getting there. Not quite ready yet, but definitely getting close to having that ready. And but as soon as they're ready, this is all gonna come out. So and all of these tomatoes that are like this one's already pretty tall, they're gonna have free range in here. It's gonna be pretty nice. Um, the other part of that is all of the seeds you can see behind me that we planted. Um, I didn't do a lot with them. I wasn't really sure what to do with all of those seed trays. Uh, but since I wasn't real sure what to do with them, I kind of let them go. And I'm going to transplant them out in the southern beds and just see what happens. If we get crop from them, great. If we don't, it's a learning curve. So stay tuned. I'm going to zoom in here with the camera and show you how the guidelines work. 